Wedding plans can be stressful enough without an important vendor shutting off communication. Uh, La Vista Bride and her family put money down with a photographer who went dark as the big day approached. Mike McKnight not only investigates this case, but he also has tips from reputable photographers in tonight's Six on Your Side report. After getting engaged, Becca Odom hired MOXX or Mox Photography for wedding photos. But she says without warning, they dropped out of the picture. I mean, I just tried to reach out on every platform and nothing. I just, if she doesn't want to do it, I want my money back. And blocking and taking people's money isn't the way to do it. Sharon Odom is mother of the bride, and three months before her turn walking down the aisle, she has a photo collection showing communication with the wedding photographer. Facebook messaging and the text messaging, and uh, things just kind of stopped. But her $500 down payment check went through. I mean, it's just something that you thought was taken care of, and it's not. And, you know, you put, you put your faith in someone, you trust them, and then they're gone, and they've taken money with them. The Odoms found Mox Photography on a Facebook wedding market page. I think it's fine, you know, to respond to an advertisement that you might see online. Uh, but, you know, you need to be sure that you do your research, uh, you know, dig into the company's reputation, you know, come to the Better Business Bureau. Do they have a profile? Do they have a rating? Full-time wedding photographer Chris Tierney averages 40 ceremonies a year. And he says paying half down is standard practice, but warns that brides and grooms should get more than a snapshot resume. Yeah, you know, maybe just like, well, I like their pictures, but before I say give them any money, I want to meet with them, I want to talk with them, and I want to see a little bit more in depth of their work. Sharon Odom says all communication with Mox Photography came through text and emails, not in person. But I called the number the family has for the photographer assigned. Mox Photography. And the woman who answered denied more than just standing up the bride. You are a wedding photographer, right? She answered no. At this point, you know nothing about you're not a photographer. Her answer was, I really don't know what you're talking about. But the bride's mother believes a signed contract and copy of a cash check will provide a sheriff's investigator with a clearer picture. I, I just want my money back. On your side in Sarpy County, Mike McKnight, 6 News. Mox Photography is not accredited or rated with the Better Business Bureau, but the BBB is investigating the complaint. There's a Wedding Professionals Association of Nebraska, and they're not familiar with Mox Photography. Final Take Films is a leader of the organization and provided tips for hiring a wedding photographer. And we'll post those on WWT.com. And good news tonight for the bride in our story. She found another photographer for her wedding.